there. I'm coming on with a, the next segment of my little grungy envelope journal. And uh, before I get started, I want to um, to say thank you to uh, all of you folks who did actually comment and uh, let me know your opinion, uh, whether you wanted me to continue on with the grungy envelope um, videos. Uh, I so appreciate you taking the time to do that. And um, it looks like I'm going to be continuing until I finish it. <laughs> and the second thing I wanted to say was I do apologize because at, uh, at video four, uh, where I do start off my video by saying it is video four and that was correct and then I put a caption on there that said it's really five well it was really four <laughs> so um, I did correct that in the description box and so um, and so I'm sorry about the the confusion with the numbers and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go on with um, um, doing some some things in my little journal here I'm going to bring you in just a little bit because I want to do sort of like a little quick flip through because I think whoops it's a little too much because I think there are some things that maybe <clears throat> you haven't seen that I did um, you know if it would if I would be walking past and I would see something I would just plop it on here <laughs> so um, anyway uh, this is the front cover and um, I did add some of these little flower ephemera and here's a one with has a, like a little pocket watch another one that looks kind of like a little ticket uh, I did put a rolled rose up here in the corner and another piece of ephemera underneath there um, I think that's all extra I've done on the front cover I'm pretty sure so, um, and then I don't, I've, I haven't done anything yet with this seed packet. I'm really, I need some inspiration for what to do with the seed packet because I just, I just really don't know what to do with it. <laughs> haven't been able to figure out. I mean, I like, uh, I like that it's a little tip out. I like that it has a, an envelope here. I can put some other little pieces of ephemera down in there that, might be left over or whatever but I don't really know what else to do with like this part and this part anyhow so maybe you guys can let me know some ideas um, I don't think that I showed you this uh, page yet um, but basically what it is it's just some little cutout this is a little moth um, a, some little flower cutouts. This is a little tiny piece of ephemera here and a little leaf pattern around it. Uh, another moth down here. A couple flowers that I added on to that underneath page. This page has got like pieces of fiber. That, pe that piece of paper had pieces of fiber in it. And, I don't know, I just added to it with the, the few little things that I put on here like that moth needs a little bit of glue right there. So I'll just take care of that really quickly here. If I can get my glue to come out. Oh. So I thought I would just go through it really fast. It's the wrong pin. I'm trying to grab a pin here to open that nozzle up a little bit. Um, and I have not done anything on these pages. I absolutely love this paper, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I got from Sarah at Crafting and Relaxing. Um, but I absolutely love that paper, and I, I don't know what to do with that either. But that, I just absolutely love that paper. So on this side, I, I did a pocket. I, I know I've, I've shown this one. Um, 
maybe I didn't have the fibers in the top of this tag when I showed it the last time, but um, if so, I just used some sorry silk. Looks like I hit it with some, um, maybe some vintage photo or something as well, and tuck that in my little lace pocket back here. I put a moth on. I, I think I've, I've shown all this. I don't know if I showed you the, the decorations that I did on this little envelope, though. There's a piece of paper under there um, that I printed off of the computer. It had a vintage pattern to it. I found this little um, chipboard button. There's a piece of lace under there and a piece of my sugar beet dyed paper. And then there's this, this little booklet that's in here. I'm pretty sure I showed that already. And I will do a, a better and more thorough um, flip through when it's all completed, but I just wanted to catch the things that I've done that, um, that I di didn't do on camera. Uh, I think this page was okay. Um, this has still got the little paper clip and the cherish uh, tag. This one is the same. Um, I may have tucked in a, um, this little tag that I got from, mm, just give me a second. Um, Art, Craft, and Journals uh, from Sue at Art, Craft, and Journals This uh, sent me this little tag and I, I tucked it in here because I thought that pretty blue eyelash trim went with this very well. Um, and I just loved it because it had the grungy look already to it. I added a piece of ephemera here. It's little a little world or a little map old-fashioned map just plain on the back um, and this tag I have not done anything else with it as yet if I do I'm not sure if I will or not other than putting the tags on it or the strings on it I I'm trying to remember but I can't remember so forgive me like I said if I'm being redundant but uh, here's the, the this is a piece of envelope, security envelope, um, a couple pieces of ephemera, a piece of that netting that my daughter-in-law gave me from her old curtains, some fibers, and also a piece of black gauze and a button. Um, so that's on that corner. And I'm not sure if I showed that on, on video or not. Okay, I know I did this. And I, sh I know I showed you this tag, but I did put some sorry silk fibers on that one. Tuck that in there. This is the piece of pattern paper. I know I showed that. This page has the... Um, I did this one. I know it has the the crackle, and I'm not sure what to do with that page either. Um, that stayed the same so far. This has stayed the same so far. Okay, these I'm pretty sure I showed as well. Or did I show this tag? I don't remember. <laughs> so, like I said, forgive me if you're seeing it again. Um, but this tag I did uh, has uh, the background, or the, the, the base of the tag is that um, cream-colored cardstock book page stamping. Uh, a little bird ephemera, one that looks like a license plate. This is a stamp, a USA stamp, a piece of my beet colored or beet dyed paper, another 
a piece of ephemera down here and another one here. This is some of that cotton material um, that I tore into strips and um, looks like I hit, hit that with, I don't know what kind of, one of my Tim Holtz, I'm sure, inks. This, t this tag I know I've shown, shown you before. And if you are, this is the first time you're watching, um, please go back and check the other videos in this series. They are in a playlist and then you can see some of these other things done um, in more detail or this I have not put anything in or done anything with yet. Neither these two sides. Um, this one I know I've done. This one I know I've done. I think I did put something in the back of this little envelope. I did it, just a piece of bird, birdie ephemera that, uh, you can write on if you want to. This side has the piece of um, cream colored sari down the edge. Pretty sure I showed that, but anyway, that's cream colored sari that I glued on that edge. This I have not done anything with yet, this win window pocket. This is the other piece of the paper that I made. It needs something. This I know I have shown. This is the little booklet that pops out and fits in there. Uh, the other piece of that, other side of that very fragile uh, a school book um, in French. There. And this one has, oh yes, this one has the another beautiful tag that was sent to me uh, by um, Sue, who is Art, Craft, and Journals. Art, Craft, Journals. I will put the link to her channel in the description box below. But um, this is so pretty, and it's very vintagey, and it's sewn all around. I love it, and it went in. It went so well with my little journal that I decided I would tuck it right in there. And you can see the little bird through the window, <laughs> and the flowers through the window, and I love it. So, except I need to tack that down right there because if not, it's going to tear. Even. Um, it's going to tear, and I don't want that to happen. So I will tack that down. Okay, and that should be all right to put down in my pocket. And then this one, I think I showed you this little tag, pretty sure. That goes in there. And another window, got a page under it, but this I know I showed you me putting this little pocket down, uh, but I didn't have anything to go in it yet, as yet. So I found this um, seam binding wrapper. Um, it's, it's just a wrapper from seam binding from I don't know when, because it was 45 cents. <laughs> so I know it's been a while ago. Um, and I actually put a little piece of, um, dress pattern paper in there 
And I'm not sure exactly what else I'm going to put in there yet, but I'm going to put something else in there. Maybe some some little pages to write on or something. But uh, yeah, so I just did that, and I'm going to tuck that right there in that little pocket. And then this has a couple pieces of ephemera in it now. Pan American Exposition, June 30th, 1901, and one that says Paris. Um, so, tuck those back in there, and then that lovely page again on the on the back. Okay, so that is um, quite <laughs> quite a long video, just for a flip through. Um, so I do apologize for that. Uh, um, I don't know if I can do anything just very quickly here that you know that we can so that I, we can actually say we we worked on it <laughs> today. bag. There's a piece of my coffee dyed paper that somehow or other got some glitter on it. I don't know how that happened, but it did. So maybe what I can do is just add that to the bottom here, underneath. How would that be? We'll at least do that much. That's right where the glitter is. <laughs> How funny. I really like the way this part looks. I'll save those pieces. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, but I guess we all do it, right? So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. It's just too yummy to throw away. just make it like a background of some kind here. Um, I think it got stuck under something else in my pan and when I went to pick it up it just I poked a hole through it and yeah the whole nine yards but it's okay because I still love it anyway. See there's a big hole in it and it's torn here and Glue that down there. And we will call it a day for this time. Uh, like I said, I do apologize that we didn't get a chance to do much in it. I talked too much, um, obviously. Uh, but, <laughs> but on the very next video, I do promise we will uh, get into something and, and, and make something or do something to add to it. In the meantime, you got a little bit of a 
peek at some of the things that I have added on um, to it whenever I was off camera. Making sure, see all those little torn places? Just making sure that those are stuck down good. Okay, folks, there we go. So we're going to leave that as it is for right now. And uh, next time we come back, I will have some more to do in it with you. And uh, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. And I appreciate all of you. And until I visit with you next time, God bless you. Bye.